Hello again and welcome to Partition Designer. In this video we will be examining how Partition Designer documents bolt hole details. Now bolt hole details are associated with uh, two different layouts. We see we support the uh, headrail braced floor mounted ceiling hung and floor to ceiling. Ceiling hung almost always requires bolt hole details uh, because it's mounted to the ceiling and needs that extra support. Floor to ceiling may at times require that. In both cases, if the conditions are right, the system will include uh, bolt hole details on the drawings of these layouts. Okay. So we will open the project that uh, highlights the uh, bolt hole uh, requirements. And we see we have two drawings here. One is a between wall, the other is what we call a side alcove. So we'll look at the between wall first. And we'll hit view and edit room layout. And we can see from here that uh, a number of things about this layout. Number one is that it has three inch uh, pilasters at each end. Now these pilasters would only require or allow for one bolt uh, for the sake of mounting. Uh, they're both mounted to the wall. So the bolt would have to be on the outside away from the wall uh, one inch in from the end. And we'll take a look at how that works. We can see here in this illustration that uh, because of the narrowness of the pilaster, the one bolt is placed away from the wall, which gives it the greatest stability. All right. And so let's take a look at the drawing that was generated for this particular layout. All right. So here is the bolt hole detail. And we can see that it's got the three inch dimension. So that's one inch gap plus two inches of the pilaster, one inch in from the edge, three inches at both ends. We'll also notice that a 24 inch door has a 26 inch corresponding dimension because of the one inch uh, added on to both ends. And the pilaster, which is 14 inches, is a 12 inch between holes for obvious reasons. Okay, let's take a look at our other layout, which is what we call a side alcove. And this is interesting because uh, it has the extra wide first stall, which necessitates the uh, use of a panel here. And because it's ceiling hung, the pilaster is turned at 90 degrees for increased stability. And typically these are at least six inches wide, sometimes eight inches. Okay, so let's look at the drawing that was generated from this layout. And here we are. We can see right off the bat that uh, we have a 0.75 gap. And since a, a five inch pilaster does accommodate two bolts, uh, which are separated by three inches, one inch in from each edge, the uh, first bolt is 1.75 from the wall. Again, the 26 corresponding to the 24, the 10 inch uh, separation corresponding to the 12 inch pilaster. And over on the left hand side, we can see that this is uh, uh, dimensioned as being 59 and 3 eighths from the rear of the stall. And we also notice that uh, because the pilaster is turned, the bolts need to be to have that orientation. And so the system does that. A six inch uh, pilaster produces four inches between bolts. So. We appreciate you looking at our system, and we hope this has been informative. Thank you very much.